Welcome in Miss Rachel's friends. Today is Thursday, May number 2121 and I'm going to be talking about summer schedule because this is the last video that Miss Rachel is making before I say farewell and that you can have a wonderful summer break. I know it seems it started a little bit early but here we are and this is this year. So just like we do in school, we have a visual schedule so the children know what to expect every single day. We come to school, we sign in, we say if we're at school or home that day, we do our morning meeting, we do our greeting, we wash hands, we have lunch, we brush our teeth, we go to reading, we do story or yeah, reading story time, then we go to large group, small group, and so on and so on throughout the day. And so it helps your child to know what to expect each day. It builds stability, there are less, there's less confusion, and it creates a very stable environment for the child to know when it's time to do certain activities and when it's time to move on to other activities, which can really help that transition from, say, playtime to a lunch time, or from tablet time to take a bath when it's time to go to bed. So I have included a few different things in the kits that we are dropping off today. And some schedules are already pre-made and you can use those however it works for you. I like just to use pictures at this age and then you can add the word that is meaningful to your child. So for instance, you're going to wake up in the morning and let's see, have some breakfast. So you can make a B. For breakfast you could write out the word breakfast or you could just say C if you have cereal for breakfast every day so we would put that first and then maybe you brush your teeth and then let's say it's time to get dressed Miss Rachel always brushes her teeth and then gets dressed because otherwise I'll get toothpaste on my shirt it's inevitable and then after we get dressed brush hair and then maybe Let's bring that up here. Maybe after that, it's important that we read a book. We could have some story time right away in the morning after we brush our hair. And then maybe we can do some puzzles. Miss Rachel included a couple of different images for what playtime might look like. So maybe you have a trampoline. You could do that next. Or play with dolls. These are all different things that could happen next. They even have trucks and a sandbox, all different things that you could be doing. So after it's playtime, then maybe it's time to go outside and you can go to the park. And then maybe after you go to the park, it's time to go grocery shopping. And after, oh, grocery shopping, maybe it's time to sit down and have lunch. Miss Rachel actually did not make a card for eating time. So I will put that in in a little bit. And then after lunch, maybe you get to go on a car ride. So I have a picture of family putting a child into the car seat. And then maybe you get to go play soccer or go kick the ball around. Or maybe you get to go visit grandma and grandpa. And then, so you can just use these cards to fill up your day and you can take these on a piece of paper. I have seen people clip them and put them on the refrigerator. It is always best if you can go on a horizontal line because that's how children read from left to right. And so it helps build up those pre-reading skills. So you make your schedule however it fits your day and it can be as specific as you want if you are very regimented and want to have everything broken down into time slots, or if you just want to say in general, we're going to eat, play, outside, eat, rest. There's a couple of different options where you can play, where you can um, sort out your schedule. And if your child would really like to make this their own, they could draw their own pictures to go along with what you have. And I found this is very helpful if you have a babysitter coming into your house or bring the child to a babysitter's house that will follow your schedule. That way they know 
what is expected of them and the child knows what is expected of them every day as well. So this works. I still do it with my own children. My oldest is 13 and it just really helps satisfy and put predictability into the day. So I hope you have fun using these and hopefully it helps, you know, not create chaos, but helps con like control everything so you can all be calm and on the same page together. So have fun over your summer, my dears.